Clarissa, I am so glad that we did this where we did this in Rome. I know this has been so hectic to you and you've been so stressed and things have gone wrong, but things have also gone right on this day. Everything's been right on this day and I'm so, so happy that we did this and that I get to spend the rest of my life with you. I love you so much. And then why don't you share the story of you guys? So I, as in my vows, I was told I was going to Haas Hall Academy. Um, I was not happy about that. It was not my idea of a school because I was going from public school. Um, then I was told I was going to a school with uniforms and all this kind of order. And I was not happy. And then I walked in to English class and I met you. And it was the best thing that has ever happened to me. The best thing. And I'm sure there's thousand things. What are just a few of your favorite things about her? She's kind. She's compassionate. She's beautiful. She's always there when you need her. She is... There's so many words. Just the most amazing woman I've ever met. And then, uh, how have you been feeling today? Like earlier, were you more on the nervous side? Were you more just excited? I'm sure a bit of both, but... Uh, yeah, I got really, really nervous uh, towards um, whenever we got really close, like 30 minutes before. And um, then I was told to just keep my eyes locked in your eyes and everything would go good. Every, everyone else would just go away. And I did that and that's what happened. Uh, we locked eyes and no one else was important. You were the most important thing to me and you're right there and it was great. Definitely good advice. And then, um, what are you most excited about for marriage in the short term, like just upcoming weeks? King. Just getting to really enjoy that. Uh, I know that we've been living together for a long time, and we've been talking about getting married for so long, but here we are. And I'm so excited that I get to not call you my girlfriend, I'll call you my fiance. I get to call you my wife every single day when I wake up. And then what are you most excited about for marriage in the long term in 10 plus years? Knowing that no matter what, I have the best partner in the world. The best partner. She's always going to be by my side, and I know that no matter what. And what's a lesson you feel like you've learned through your friendship up there? Like something that's just tying? Um... Mm. everything everything i mean i have been i was kind of lost before her um and she was my friend even after we reconnected she was my friend more than she was um a girlfriend she was there for me she 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 was there for me and i know that i can always count on that and then why should you just finish sending her one more sweet little Clarissa, I love you so much. I'm so, so happy that you're my wife. And I cannot wait to see what the next 100 years bring us. Hi, babe. Um, oh, man, this did not go really as planned, as you well know. But I knew from the start of this whole thing that it wouldn't really matter if you were here. I didn't care if there wasn't going to be flowers, if there wasn't going to be chairs. Like, that didn't matter as long as we were together, and it was really good, and I didn't fall, <laughs> and you caught me, and you would have caught me anyway. So I love you very, very much, and your vows were perfect, and I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. And why don't you share the story of your perspective over you guys' first meeting? Okay. <laughs> So my perspective of us first meeting, I feel like, is very different from yours. Um, I was extremely sheltered, so I didn't really have an idea of, like, how to like boys or how to flirt or how to do any of those things. And I don't know if it was the first week or what. At some point, I had all these Germexes in my backpack. My mom had gone to the store and got me like 25 different, like, scents of Germex. 
and you stole them all, so I'd have to talk to you to get them back. And I remember thinking that that was weird, and like I didn't know that that would meant you liked me, so we kind of went through a song and dance of you trying to make me understand that concept. And then it was like, I felt like I had known you forever. So, you know, from our first kiss, it was, it was special because I was really, really scared. We were in the back of a Hastings by the t-shirts and I was shaking. I was so scared and I was 15. Like it wasn't like I was a little kid and you just held me and you made sure I felt safe. And then I kissed you because I wanted to. And it was perfect. And then every time I talked about my first boyfriend after that, it was always like, I never had a bad memory of him. He was my favorite person that I've been with. I just didn't think it could be that easy to find your person. And not that it was easy, obviously from today, but you make it easy for me. That is super adorable and also makes me miss tasting. <laughs> no, right? These things was perfect. So dear. And um, and then, how have you been feeling today? Like, I'm sure there's, like, were you more on the nervous side, more just excited? I woke up this morning so nauseous. I just could feel, I have not felt any nerves up to today. And then today, I felt all of them at once. I thought I was going to throw up. I thought I was going to die. I just was so, like, just all the nerves at once. And when my friends came in the room, I calmed down a little bit. And things just, oof, lots and lots and lots of things that went wrong. Or not wrong, but different than we had planned. But I was beside Paul the whole time, almost. And whenever we were together, it was fine. Everything was fine. And I'm sure there's plenty of things. What are just a few of your favorite things about Paul? Oh. I think, oh. I told Hector that being with him for me, even just being around him is the same. It feels like when you've been working outside all day or you've been running around in the heat all day and you're so hot and you're so tired and you dive into a cold pool and like your whole body is just engulfed in relief and like, wow, it feels amazing. That's what it feels like to me because I know that he has my back no matter what. I can depend on him. And the night before, we weren't get, supposed to get to stay in the, in, our, in the same room. We were supposed to stay separately. And then because there was a huge mess with the hotel rooms, we ended up in the same room. And I asked for, like, I don't even know how many things, probably four or five different random things, like ice and a safety pin and all these things, and he got them all. Don't know how, but he somehow figured it out. And he just is, like, he reminds me of the night sky like some things are for sure like the sun and the moon you know that they're going to be there but there's also so much mystery there's so many things that are changing and being revealed along the way so he's mysterious and reliable and just infinite to me that was wild nah, definitely one of my favorite quotes I tried to put that. I was going to put that in my vows. I was like, it's going to be 20 minutes long if I keep talking. Well, we got it in here. Um, and then, uh, right. Now I'm drawing with land. Trying to dip. Uh, so uh, what would you say are you most excited about for marriage in short term? Mm. So we are going to London for honeymoon. And that's going to be amazing because it's just going to be him and I. And we get to go to Harry Potter World and do all my favorite things. And then when we get home, we did buy a house last year that we haven't got to redo at all because it we had to spend money on our way. So now we get to work on the house together, and that's going to be really, really fun. And we get to get a dog. Hopefully he sees this because we're getting a dog. And what are you most excited about for marriage in the long term, like 10 plus years? I am most excited about seeing how Paul changes over the amount of time that I've known him. He has changed a lot. But it's, again, there's constants. He's always been self selfless and patient and generous and kind and gentle. But there's been some changing things, too, all along the way. So I'm very excited to meet all the different Pauls that come after. My dad and I do a thing every time I have a birthday. 
he either calls me or I see him and he tells goodbye to whatever age I am. So goodbye to six-year-old Clarissa and 12 and 10. Because it, you are a changing person and you do change each year. So I'm excited to meet all the Pauls until we're 85 or 95 or 105. And then what's a lesson you feel like you've learned through your friendship with it? Like something that who's taught? Paul has definitely taught me to be more patient. I thought it was funny that he said that I taught him to be more patient because he has, he's so much more fluid than me and so much less, like if something doesn't go this way, it's the end of the world. Like he has taught me to relax and taught me to have fun and taught me that true good in a person isn't measured by necessarily what your parents have told you or what society has told you you can find the most beautiful gem and something that some other people might tell you isn't worth looking at like a lump of coal they might tell you it's a lump of coal but it just needs some time and it's there I feel like people say that a lot that's a very common statement for but for us it was very true a lot of people told me you don't need to be with him we're not on the same path a lot of people told me that and there was just some force that was stronger than everything else and I'm so glad that I listened to myself so he taught me to listen to myself more and to be more open-hearted and why don't you just finish sending him one more sweet little nothing thought it was really sweet that you said you're going to hug me every day. And I just want you to know that I will also be here for you no matter what, no matter what happens to us. I will always be beside you. And I love you with my whole heart. Hi. Love you guys. So happy to be here. Wish you all the best. I hope you have the greatest night ever. Love you. Ciao. Hello, Paul and Clarissa. I am so glad that y'all are getting married. I'm so excited for y'all's journey. I love y'all both so, so much. And thank you. I am so honored to be here and to share this day with y'all. And thank you for inviting us to Italy. I love y'all. Paul and Clarissa, I just, and on the chance that I don't get my speech in front of everybody, I want you guys to have my speech. Um, so Paul and I made a deal close to around 10 years ago that if we ever get married, that we'd be each other's best man. It's been a wild ride to get here, but I want to say I'm so honored and lucky, um, to not only stand by you, but to have a friend like you. You've always been there for me and I've never had a friend that I can trust like I can trust you. So thank you. I could go through memory lane here, but I'm going to save both of us that embarrassment. And instead, I'd like to list some reasons why I love you guys so much and the reasons why I think y'all are a perfect combination together. First thing is the generosity you two guys have. I've never met another couple that gives as much as Paul and Clarissa. Whether it's their time, their love, their advice, or anything they have to offer, they lay it all out without ever even asking any questions. They're always there for you. Number two is the authenticity that you both carry with you, which is my favorite thing about you guys. No matter the time it's been apart, the topic of discussion, the environment we're in, it doesn't matter. You both always show up 100% present in the moment, and you really wear your hearts on your sleeves with anyone you all care about. I feel like authenticity is one of the most important things, if not the most important trait, that someone can have, and you all both knock it out of the park. Three is the love you have for everyone, and especially each other. We've probably all heard the quote that goes something like, if you love someone, set them free. If they come back, it was meant to be. The fact that y'all's relationship started so long ago back at Haas Hall, and that flame of love kept burning that entire time where you weren't together, only to ignite into a wildfire when y'all rekindled your relationship, really shows the strength of that love. We all feel the intensity of that fire that is y'all's love. I'd like to close by saying how much I love that y'all's wedding is constellation and universe themed because every time you look up at the stars at night, I want you to know that y'all's love burns just as bright 
and for just as long at those stars. Love you guys. Hey guys, I love you. I hope you guys are married forever and of course is my sister-in-law forever. Paul, I hate you. Ragazzi, è bellissimo essere qui stasera. Vi auguro veramente tantissima felicità. È stato meraviglioso condividere dei momenti con voi e avervi qui. E per me e per la mia piccolina. E spero davvero di rivedervi prestissimo. E ci stiamo divertendo tanto. Che Dio vi benedica e che veramente possiate sognare insieme, raggiungere tanti obiettivi, viaggiare. Fate tante cose, non annoiatevi mai e sarà una vita stupenda. Yeah, I want to say, um, Paul, Clissa, I want to thank you for letting me be here today and just being part of your guys' life. Um, I said it earlier, like, um, just living with you guys or just, you know, being around you guys is like, to me, it's almost like watching, you know, watching you guys grow as a couple and just watching you, Paul, you know, grow as, grow from a, from a shit kid when I first met you. To being the man you are now, dude. Like, I love you. I love you guys both. Clarissa, same thing to you. You know, I've been there, you know, from the, from the bad times to the good times. And yeah, it's, it's been great. And I just want to let you know I appreciate you guys. And then I love you guys. So, so. Paul, Clarissa, I'm really glad you guys uh, invited me to be here. I wouldn't miss it for the world. Um, Clarissa, I'm really happy that you're part of Paul's life. You make him a much better man. Paul, you can go fuck yourself. Hold on. No, I'm just kidding, buddy. I love you. I'm so happy for you guys. This is the best wedding and my birthday. <laughs> That's it. What's up, guys? Um... I'm just really proud of you guys. I think that um, they're an incredible display of love. Uh, and I think even today and this week, you guys really embodied your vows today. You guys were patient, loving, and respectful, even in some really shitty moments to each other. Um, and yeah, I've seen you guys go through like the shittiest of things that you have to go through, and laws included. And I just really, I really believe in you. Um, and I have a lot of faith in you guys. And yeah, I hope to, I hope to someday, you know, I think we all hope to have the love that you guys have. Um, 